This is Professor Darif Seitz. This tutorial shows how to find and correct some common Java syntax errors using the TextPad editor. I have two files open here in TextPad, Common Syntax Errors 1 and 2, Java source files. In file 1, we have a, a program <coughs> with 11 syntax errors in file 2, the corrected version of the program with no syntax errors. Let's begin by compiling. Uh, to review, in TextPad, Tools, External Tools, Compile Java is Control-1 hotkey, and Running it is Control-2. We're just focused on compiling here, Control-1. I've already configured TextPad uh, to work with Java. Control-1, <clears throat> it shows six errors. We will only look at the first error on line 15. It says a semicolon is expected on line 15, and it shows what line 15 is. Let's get going. We don't need to look at the other errors because the Java compiler, once it finds an invalid format in the source file, it gets thrown off at that point frequently, and it's better to fix that error and recompile and take it from there. So we'll go to line 15. <clears throat> to see line numbers, we view line numbers, and line 15 right here, there is a missing semicolon at the end of that line. Every Java statement has to end with a semicolon. Save it. Recompile. Control-1. The first error this time also appears on the surface to be a semicolon issue. It's on line 41. However, line 41 does have a semicolon. If we look at the line and look at it carefully, we'll see we have unmatched parentheses. Every left parenthesis needs a matching right parenthesis and vice versa. This right parenthesis here does not have a matching left parenthesis. This multiplication is supposed to be inside parentheses. So we'll add that parenthesis, save it, <coughs> recompile. Our first error now is on line 43. It says it's not a statement, and it's 10 uncommented comment. Line 43 was supposed to be a comment but it was missing the comment symbols. We'll comment it out, save it, and recompile. Control-1. This time it only shows one error. At line 49, it says reach the end of the file while it was still parsing. So we go to line 49, and we see a right brace. If we scroll up, the matching left brace is with the main method. But there's a left brace for the class, and it's the same thing, braces like parentheses. Each left brace needs a matching right brace. This file is missing the right brace for the class at the end. We'll go down to the end down here and add the right brace. Save it. Compile. Eight errors. Again, we only are concerned with the first one it finds. Line 19, 
cannot find a symbol, notice the little hat character underneath this word here. And if we look at the word on line 19, we'll see that temperature, which is an int variable right here, was misspelled over here. The Java compiler, being a program, is going to be very precise, and this is not the same as that as far as it's concerned. Let's copy this and replace this with the correct spelling. Save it. Recompile. First there this time, <clears throat> it's talking about the class. Common syntax errors 2 is public. Should be declared in a file with the same name. If you have a public class, normally each file has one public class. The rule is that the file name has to match the public class name. We see in the solution that it does match. Common syntax errors 2 matches the file name. To make it match over here, we'll change the class name to be common syntax errors 1. Save it. Recompile. The first error this time can't find a symbol and the little hat character is under scanner and it says the symbol it can't find is the class scanner. And that was on line 21. This is an indication of a missing import statement. If we go to the solution, scanner needs an import statement. If we go up to the top and under our imports, add in the import statement so it will be able to find the scanner. Control 1 to recompile. Now it's complaining about parse int. This method parse int on line 27. Integer dot parse int. Well there is a parse int method, however Java is case sensitive and it's supposed to be a capital I. This is called um, camel case, like it's a hump of a camel there. Java uses that. Each different word uh, besides the first one is capitalized in everything that they do. So if we fix it to be parse int and recompile, it still complains about it, but for a different reason now. No suitable method is found. And here the problem it says actual and formal argument lists differ in length. It's supposed to take a string argument, and the one we entered, we gave it no arguments. Arguments are also called parameters. So it's missing a parameter, line 27. We look at the solution for parse int, it's supposed to take the string sh as a parameter in our program. So we'll go here and take sh, and that's what we want to pass in as a parameter. Compile it. Now it cannot find the random class on line 29. This is another import problem. So we'll copy it from the solution. I like to put my import statements in alphabetical order as I do my methods. And add that. Control 1. Now it's complaining about double temperature, it says the variable temperature is already defined in this method in main. So if we go down here to the double temperature, 
since it's already defined, if we look up here, its temperature's already been defined as an int. So this is a mistake to redefine it as a double. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just comment it out so we can still see there that it matches the comment of conflicting declaration. Save it. In a real program, you would delete it because you don't want that duplicate conflicting declaration. Recompile. And now it's complaining about C might not have been initialized on line 43. 43C, which is a double, has not been initialized, and Java doesn't like you to use variables in calculations that have not been initialized. <clears throat> so it needs to be initialized. The solution shows that it should have been initialized to a value of 3 for this program. We'll do that. And now we have no syntax errors remaining. If we go to the solution and review what we did, we included some missing import statements. We made sure that the file name matched the public class name. We fixed a missing semicolon on the end of a statement, a spelling error, case error, upper versus lower case, a missing parameter, conflicting declaration, an uninitialized variable, unmatched parentheses, an uncommented comment, and an unmatched brace. So this gives you an idea about what some common Java syntax errors are, and using TextPad, how to find them and fix them.